So we have seen in this section that the creation phase of an execution context has two steps, creation phase and execution phase. So far, we have talked about the object variable creation as well as the scope chain creation, both part of the creation phase. I hope that you have followed along just fine and taken a lot of notes so that we can now talk about the third and last step of the creation phase, which is determining and setting the value of the this variable or the this keyword. So the this variable is a variable that each and every execution context gets. And as we already know, it is stored in the execution context object. So where does the this variable or the this keyword point? In a regular function call, the this keyword simply points at the global object, which in case of the browser is the window object. And this is actually the default. Simple as that. In a method call, which as you remember is a function that is attached to an object, the this variable points to the object that is calling the method. And something very important about this is that the this keyword is not assigned a value until the function where it is defined is actually called. So again, even though it appears that the this variable refers to the object where it is defined, the this variable is technically only assigned a value as soon as an object calls a method. But armed with all the knowledge that you have gained in this section so far, this makes total sense, right? And that's because we know that the this keyword is attached to an execution context, which is only created as soon as a function is invoked, which also means called. So invoked and called are the same thing. All right, so let's now check out some practical examples of this in the next lecture.